According to Lars Ulrich, Metallica wanted to try something new with The Unforgiven. Instead of a low-key verse and a heavy chorus, they flipped the script, keeping the chorus soft and the bridge heavier. I don't know, judging from this song's popularity, and also from the popularity of Nothing Else Matters, which has over a billion plays on YouTube, maybe Metallica should have been a soft rock band. <laughs> now today, we'll be studying a live performance of The Unforgiven, get this, recorded in Saudi Arabia, of all places. It's insane. Let's find out what makes this song great. Uncover your inner greatness at my Patreon page below. That's where you sell your soul to me, the Dark Lord from below, for all access to courses, tabs, Discord. 2024 is the year to become a guitar guy. Here we are in Saudi Arabia, and this was recorded December 14th, of 2023 that's last year already so <laughs> let's get to it that's like the saddest chord ever the melody comes in. Now, Papa has this part. So first of all, we're tuned down a half step as Metallica always does when they play live. And we're in the key of A minor, but this isn't any regular A minor. By leaving that first fret on the B string open, you get that A minor 9 sound. And A minor 9, there's another way to play it, is one of the saddest chords you can possibly play. It sounds like unforgiveness <laughs> let's hear the melody that kirk hammett is about to lay over top of these sad chords Gold bass. Robert's playing a gold bass. So that little melodic theme that we started with really transformed there. This melody is interesting because it starts in A minor. And then we get this raised seventh degree G sharp, which fits the E major just perfectly. You could say Metallica doesn't know music theory, but this is definitive proof that they do. They're able to pair a melody, scales, and chords all together to make it it fit. Nothing is clashing here. Let's get to the heavy verse. The young man struggles on and on. Can you identify with life being a struggle? I know we're all optimistic this time of year, right? It's, the, it's January 1 today, and everybody's got their New Year's resolutions going. But it's only a matter of time before everyone stops trying. <laughs> because life is hard. James Hetfield is about to tell us all about it. Let me try playing along with the verse here. These chords are... Just brilliant.
Wow. Like, uh, I would just have never thought to play something like that. Um, you start with this A minor sort of suspension. I mean, this is so brilliant because it's not just a riff, it's a melody, it's the vocal line too. So there's a line that goes through this riff and it uses pedal tones brilliantly, right? So we start with this A minor sound. That's an E minor sound, and then D. And back to the A minor. So they're outlining a chord progression within the riff, plus weaving a melody through it. Up ahead should be teaching a composition class, am I right? Not Dave Mustaine though, sorry Dave. <laughs> the chorus is really interesting. Like Lars said, instead of like it going up in intensity, it comes way down. Listen to this. A minor, C, G, E. Somehow that just works. Okay, now I think it's bridge time. London Bridge is falling down. This is a beautiful section here because instead of the Aeolian sort of sound and harmonic minor that we had before, now it's Dorian, which equals that raised sixth degree. So now it's lighter. There's uh, not as much doom and gloom going on. So if you want to just play around with that sound, it's really A minor and D is the soul of the Dorian sound, which is what I'm doing here. Oh. And they just really um, use that to like uh, go in a different direction. It, this really cold modal mixture because you're changing keys, but you're keeping the same root again. Music theory brilliance from Metallica. Let's hear Kirk light it up. No wah pedal. Just uh, almost doesn't feel right, does it? No wah. That's good. Listen to this first lick that Kirk plays in the heavy section of the solo. Here we go. Ooh. That's it. If you want to get into blues and rock guitar, this is a lick for you. Where you're bending two strings at once, the G and B strings. I just feel the pain. The pain of life is just crushing you. It doesn't sound right unless you visualize that. <laughs> Back into the chorus. Oh, another solo, okay. It's going back and forth.
retard, slow down. <laughs> Ooh. It's like a 12 string sound now. To give you Gorgeous. Some, we, uh, thank you. A lot. You just say a lot. I love taking a progression and reinventing it. This is that chorus progression, but played in a different way. There's the C major, the G, and the E. C, G, E. Shoot Metallica have been a soft rock band. To be honest, they probably would have sold more records that way, but they may have lost their soul in the process. Discovering your true identity is almost a lost art these days. Over on Patreon, our goal is to uncover our unique artistic voice in 2024. All of my courses and tabs. I'm on a quest to become a guitar god this year and you can join me. It's time to reach your full potential. Now shred till you're dead. Ha 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 ha.